Hello, I'm Spade. This is the third episode of Pro Positions, a series where I watch a pro player play a position on a map that I'm generally clueless at. This time we're going to watch Scream play kind of mid and B on Dust 2. It's an interesting position because it seems to involve a whole lot of rotating, at least the way Very Games sets it up. As best I can tell, the team tends to clump a little bit on eco rounds, so, you know, maybe they'll send 3B instead, or they'll all kind of sit around mid like you just saw them do there because it was like a firing range. But mostly they kind of send one person into B site, Scream will kind of rotate between B site and mid, and he's really responsible for mid. And then there's someone else who sits kind of CT to A, and then sort of two on A, and they kind of sit either plat or long or kind of play that as they will. It's an interesting setup, and it seems to work pretty well. And it really, it, it sort of forces Scream to play a whole lot of rotations. He does a lot of running back and forth across mid. He's not going to smoke mid here because his teammate was opping. And when he doesn't smoke mid, he runs out here, he smokes, and he throws an HE into B tunnels. Just in case they're rushing. Sometimes they are. But when his teammate's not opping mid, he bounces a smoke off of those near crates, so it blooms back by the truck. Runs across, check B tunnels again. But the nice thing about this smoke is it's far enough back that he can still peek mid. One thing I've kind of been paying attention to here is I, I think he uses that green sign to kind of anchor his crosshair. Uh, sort of when you saw him kind of sticking to it when he was up higher there. And then when he peaks from, you know, sort of the mid area, he sometimes lines it up with that some portion of that sign before he peaks it. I think it's probably a convenient, uh, if, you, if you play around with it, I bet you'll find some interesting headshot angles from it. The other interesting thing about Scream's play in these rounds that I found is, as the mid player, it seems like he's supposed to play really aggressively. He peaks a lot. I think his role is as much to find out information as to make any impressive picks. Because, of course, from mid, you can see Cat. You can see pretty much the whole rotation pathway for both teams. So you get a lot of information from that, and it seems like, at least in, in very games play, they feel like it's worth the loss of one life to find out if, you know, you've got four running up cat, or four piling into lower tums, or whatever the case may be. That's a clever flash there, when he sees the smoke come down for a mid to B. It's going to sit out there and pop right after the smoke blooms, and if they are running out mid to B, he'll probably catch a few of them. Of course, they're not in this case, so it's time to have a go to retake. Unfortunately, in this case, he guessed wrong. I hope this was helpful. Spade out.